scientists put a lot of faith in the giant, pricey space telescope. The cutting-edge telescope's results didn't disappoint. When the first James Webb Space Telescope photos were revealed, everyone was stunned. These photographs showed worlds beyond our Milky Way and colliding galaxies millions of light years away. The stunning details in these photos impressed people worldwide. All of this new and mysterious data perplexed scientists as well. Opponents claimed that the first James Webb Space Telescope data refuted the Big Bang Theory and its prediction of an eternally expanding universe. This telescope has transformed our understanding of the cosmos in a year. A telescope sensitive enough to see galaxies billions of light years away should be able to provide us with detailed images of the solar system. James Webb has sent out more mind-blowing photos of Jupiter, our solar system's largest planet, showing its dominance. We weren't ready for NASA to show us these beautiful new pictures it just took of Jupiter. By combining a variety of light wavelengths, these images successfully depict Jupiter in all of its natural splendor. Jupiter is the sixth planet in order when counting outward from the Sun. It has twice the mass of all the other planets combined. Jupiter, named after the Roman god Jupiter, who was considered the god's ruler, has been visible in the sky since prehistoric times. It is the third brightest natural object in Earth's night sky, after the moon and Venus. The mass and volume of helium are both significantly impacted by its presence. Scientists believe that Jupiter may have a rocky core in its interior. Its surface is obscured by cloud cover, much like the surfaces of other gaseous planets. Because Jupiter is getting smaller, it gives off more heat than it gets from the sun, which is a good thing. Because of how quickly it spins, this planet has a slight but observable bulge right around its equator. The interaction of latitude mole bands in the upper atmosphere results in turbulence and storms. Storm turbulence is what causes the Great Red Spot, which is a huge storm in the atmosphere of the gas giant Jupiter. The enormous planet is surrounded on all sides by magnetosphere and tenuous planetary rings. Jupiter's magnetic tail stretches 800 million kilometers from the planet's core to Saturn's orbit. Galileo Galilei discovered Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto in 1610. Since then, there have been 80 moons found to orbit Jupiter. Both Io and Europa are comparable in size to our moon. When compared to Ganymede, Callisto has a diameter that is almost as large as that of Mercury. In December of 1973, the Pioneer 10 spacecraft made a near approach to Jupiter. Since then, several robot spacecraft have gone to Jupiter. The Voyager flyby missions are the most famous of these. In July of 2016, Juno was launched into orbit around the Earth. Scientists have high hopes that they will one day be able to learn more about Jupiter's system, especially Europa's ice-covered ocean. In 1976, the IAU agreed to accept Jupiter's nomenclature. The names of Jupiter's newly discovered satellites are inspired by rumored lovers, favorites, and offspring. Babylonian astronomers who worked in the 8th and 7th centuries before the Common Era found the planet. It was known as Sui in ancient China, whereas the Italian word for it is Palma. Giovanni Cassini used a more advanced telescope in the 1660s to detect spots and multicolored bands in Jupiter's atmosphere. These observations were made using Jupiter as a reference point. Cassini didn't find out that Jupiter's atmosphere rotates in different directions until 1692, even though he had seen how the planet is shaped and figured out how long its rotational cycle is. The diameter of a gas giant, measured at its equator, is 142,984 kilometers. Jupiter's density is comparable to that of simple Sira, which is lower than that of the four terrestrial planets. Helium makes up 24% of Jupiter's atmosphere while hydrogen and helium make up 90% and 10%, respectively, of Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Water vapor, ammonia, silicon-based chemicals, and methane are also present. Jupiter has been captured in high-quality imagery thanks to Gemini North and Hubble. Incredible pictures of our planet have been taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The most recent images captured by JWST show Jupiter's polar lights and clouds shimmering. The northern and southern lights are very faint fires that come from the polar regions of the Earth. The images, according to planetary astronomer Depater, caught him off guard. The images were captured by the telescope's near-infrared camera before being converted into colors that humans can see. The image suggests that Jupiter's great red spot, a storm that has been raging for decades, may wrap itself around the planet. Reflected sunlight gives it a white appearance in pictures, just like the appearance of other high-altitude clouds. The Great Red Spot and the Equatorial Belt are both located at quite high elevations. The Pater and Terry Gaucha made observations of Jupiter while working for Hayes. The colors orange and yellow can be seen near the poles, while blues and purples can be seen in the middle and faint galaxies can be seen in the backdrop. According to Heidi Hemmel, 
Vice President for Science at the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy. The brilliant white spots and streaks are most likely the condensed cloud tops of convective storms. The auroras of the planet are shown in red, and the light from the clouds is shown in blue. Infrared pictures taken by the James Webb Space Telescope show how beautiful the aurora really is by lighting up both poles of the Earth. NASA believes Jupiter's aurora is the solar system's brightest. Charged particles collide with the magnetosphere, the Earth's magnetic field. Jupiter has a 20,000 times stronger magnetosphere than Earth. It has vivid auroras. Webb was able to image Jupiter's rings, which Hubble couldn't do. All four of Jupiter's moons are battered by space debris, creating these ethereal rings. Luke Moore, an astronomer at Boston University, says that Jupiter's infrared image was made by JWST's huge primary mirror. The contrast between the planet's brightness and its rings allows us to see them clearly. This close-up image shows Jupiter's cloud bands, storms, and auroral emissions. Light reflected from Jupiter's main cloud level reveals whitish or reddish-white storms at one bar while cyan indicates deeper clouds. This enlarged picture shows how banded patterns near the equator and in the middle latitudes change into vortices at higher latitudes. Ionized hydrogen atoms a thousand kilometers above the cloud tops cause reddish auroral ovals. Astronomer Jasmine Singh has compared the first and most current images of Jupiter. Agnes Mary Clerk, an Irish astronomer, took the first known photograph in 1879. She used it in her book A Popular History of 19th Century Astronomy. This comparison shows how much astrophotography has improved in 150 years. The 19th century snapshot is blurry. Variations in chemical composition and temperature create a stunning banding effect in Jupiter's atmosphere. Because Kluck's photo is reversed, the great red spot appears in the northern hemisphere. The spot is significantly larger than before. Studies back up the larger size. This storm previously contained three Earths. Current estimates predict that one Earth would fit, making James Webb's image look like a toddler's. The JWST is a great innovation that the clerk didn't have before then. Other Jupiter images exist. Gemini North's infrared image from January 11, 2017 is also amazing. A layperson would believe it's a flame-banded bowl. Hubble caught Jupiter and Europa between 2017 and 2020. In addition to faraway galaxies, two objects that turned out to be Amalthea were found in the wide-field photograph of the huge planet. Jupiter has two moons. Images were illegible. A layman wouldn't be able to determine that the picture shows moons and not stars or dust. Despite Jupiter's proximity to Earth, the gas giant and its satellites are fundamentally different. Antiquity uncovered Amalthea and Aristria. The large and dense Galilean moon of Jupiter is a remarkable satellite, as are these two mood moons. Amalthea is twice as far from Jupiter's limb as Morphia and has a rich background of scattered light. Morphia is 250 kilometers in diameter and has less water than any other object in our solar system. Jupiter's moon Rory and the brilliant moon Io may be the James Webb Space Telescope's light sources. Soon, the telescope's spectroscopic capabilities will deliver more Jupiter data. The Great Red Spot was caught in near-infrared on July 27. Made infrared observations were similar. They intend to conduct more spectroscopic studies on Jupiter's moon Rory later this year. What could they find? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in to Starburst. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new about our incredible universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode.